Oh, I just don't know how to begin. Try this. Ben, you're an extremely nice man, and uh, it'd be unfair to tell you on the phone, so... You did the right thing, decided to come over here to tell me that, uh... There was someone else. Is there? Yes. <sighs> Surprise. Is it serious? Uh, well, it's it's too soon to tell. Does that mean I sit here waiting patiently in the wings until you find out? Find out? Yeah, if you love this other man more than you love me. Or maybe I should put up a uh, terrific fight. I mean, would, would that do any good? It's not that simple. And you're all set. So why do you look so miserably unhappy? Because I, I... I don't want to hurt you. You don't want to hurt me? You have to hurt me. So what do I do then? I want me to just sit here and smile, and nod, and say, it's okay, you do whatever you want, darling. Hmm? No. No. No, you're damned right, no. You see, because I am hurt, and I am angry. And I want to know what the hell is going on here. Gail, how have I failed you? Look, you haven't failed me. You, you, you do push me. I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. If I don't push it, that means I don't care enough for you. If I do push it, then it's too much. Look, I came here to talk about how I feel. And you're badgering me with questions. I am not badgering you with questions. I want to know what I've done wrong. Gail, I want to give you what you want. No, you don't. You want to give me what you think I should want. Does he give you what you want? I came here to talk about us. Gail? When will I see you again? I don't know. I sure do understand the old phrase, though, that sex ruins a good friendship. No. No. He was hurt, but I think he has a right to be. What do you mean, sort of? Well, I asked him to stop pressuring me. I don't even know if he understands how he pressures me or if he, if he wants to understand. And? And I told him there was someone else. I didn't tell him it was you. Hmm. So, he thinks it's another man. I didn't say. Same thing. You're disappointed in me, aren't you? I didn't know it was going to be this difficult. Well, I think you ought to tell him sometimes. He's going to find out sooner or later anyway. I think anyway. so fast. I mean, let me catch up with myself. I'm so sorry that it was painful, but... To be honest, I'm really glad you won't be seeing him. Well, for a while anyway. I have never known what it was like to evade or... or omit the truth. I mean, it's not quite like being a liar, but... I feel like a liar. Is this what gay people feel like? Most of us, yeah. Yes, it is. My two love. <laughs> oh.
Doesn't it just kill you that the best-looking men are gay? Couldn't you just die? <laughs> show me one straight man, and I'll show you a hundred grateful women. Silly girls. Do you miss men? I, I don't think I've been away from them in that sense long enough to, to miss them. But I do miss the openness of heterosexuality. Yeah, so do I. But until every gay person in America has the guts to come out, I'm not going to be the sacrificial lamb, and you shouldn't be either. Right now, I'm not in any danger. I hope. It's funny, though. I, I do feel like a liar. Mm. Amusing, isn't it? All our lives, we're told to tell the truth, we'll be rewarded, unless we're homosexual, and then we can lose our job, our promotion, our children, our family's respect. You name it. I don't think I can lie. Not for the rest of my life. Well, you're going to have to learn, darling. Because I'm not about to come out and risk everything I've worked for. Not that I don't love you. Because I do. We're two grown women. There's no need for us to jeopardize our careers. Have you ever loved a man? It's funny you should ask me that now. Of course I have. But I've never loved a man with the incendiary passion that I've loved a woman. But I loved one. It was college, you yeah. know. We were too young, wouldn't have worked out in any event. Did you ever? I'm so angry you could scream. I mean, I, I may be new to this and, and very sensitive, but it infuriates me. It infuriates me that someone would consider me sick. Oh, I'm beyond anger. Can't live with all that anger. I just want to slide by and enjoy life. And after all, it's the only life I've got. Ah, oh, isn't this wonderful? Oh. <laughs> something? No. Mm. Oh, did you bring the corkscrew? Mm-hmm. But I have a sneaky suspicion it would have been a lot smarter to bring umbrellas. They said it was going to rain today. No, no, it can't rain. I haven't been on a picnic in years. Well, maybe if we swear to say grace before we eat. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> oh, no. I knew it. A sun shower. Oh, can you bring the package first? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Thinking about Ben. Uh, little. <laughs> you don't think he'd make trouble if he knew, do you? Expose us. He was angry, but he's a good man. I don't think he'd hurt you or me. God knows I hurt him. Well, we try not to hurt anyone, but I think that life intends us to make our mistakes on one another. <laughs> I'd like you to meet some of my friends, because if you could see women who look like women who love one another, it might help you relax. <sighs> I will, just not right now, okay? I, for the time being, I want to keep our relationship our relationship. Better start cleaning up. Not yet. Well, you said uh, there's plenty of time that Amy's gone to the movies with your mother. I just wish you'd met Amy before. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable here alone with you.
What in the world? Mother, I, I thought you were with Amy. I was with Amy. Mother, this is, this is not what you think. Um, this is my friend, uh, Marjorie Lloyd. We, we work together. Hello. Hello and goodbye, Miss Lloyd. This is my house, Mother. I'll decide who stays and who goes. I don't think you can decide anything right now. If you would like me to stay, I will stay. But if you want to talk with your mother alone, I'll go. Thanks, I, uh, I think we do need to be alone. Why were you kissing that woman? We're kissing goodbye. Like hell you were. You were kissing her like a man. Don't insult my intelligence. All right, I did kiss her. Is that all you can say about it? Well, what more do you want me to say, Mother? You've obviously made your mind up about the whole thing anyway. You wouldn't do such a thing. I can't believe it. Well, don't treat me like a child. You are my child. I don't care how old you are. You weren't brought up to be one of those people. What people? I want to hear it from you. What people? Homosexuals. Women sleeping with women. Lesbians. What an ugly word. You're not a lesbian. Well, you must think I am, or you wouldn't be acting the way you are. But to kiss her like that, that's an unnatural act. It seemed natural to me, or I wouldn't have done it. What more have you done? I don't think that's any of your business. So you slept with her? Yes. And it was wonderful. I don't want to hear it. It's sick. It's Tim's death. You don't know what oh, you're doing. Tim has nothing to do with this. A and Ben, too. Ben is not a substitute for Tim. I resent you linking them together like that. I'm not linking them together. Well, what about Ben? You'll lose him. Ben is a good friend. I enjoy being with him. I am not prepared to marry him or anyone else. Don't be a fool, Gail. He loves you. He'd be a good husband. It's still hard for a woman alone in the world. I know. I'm not in love with him. But you're in love with her? I don't know. I just know that I can... I can be myself when I'm with her. I don't want you living some secret life. I don't want you to be unhappy. Homosexual relationships don't last. It's asking for heartbreak. Mother, I have had enough heartbreak to last me a lifetime. I don't want any more. Marjorie is responsive and kind. I don't want to know about her. Oh, think of your daughter. Mama, are you all right? Yes, I'm all right. Just go to your room, OK? I'm taking Amy home with me. No, the hell you are. You're an unfit mother. Get out of here. I don't want you threatening me or my child again. Get out. I'm so ashamed of you. Hello? Oh, ben, I'm glad I found you. How are you? I'm not too great. How about you? I manage. What's up? Ben, I need the name of a good therapist, someone you trust. Gail, what's wrong? I just need to take a hard look at myself, and I... I don't think I can do it without some structure, some guidance. Well, Tim and I always thought very highly of Patricia Hoffman. <gasps> You have a pencil and paper? No. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. I wanted to call, but I didn't oh, think... Oh, I'm glad you didn't. Well, uh, how bad was it? It was wretched. It was fine.